How most men think food for thought for the ladies. One we cannot read your mind. The more you keep us guessing, the more difficult life becomes. Remind yourself that your partner is not an Old Testament prophet. You did not marry a psychic or you're not talking to a fortune teller. We cannot even differentiate between your old or new haircut. To any kind of dress, attire, or I would say piece of clothing material you put on for every known type of vocation under the sun is perfectly fine for us. So stop asking, is what I'm wearing better than this or that? Usually, we say the answer that will save us time and the truth is, we don't have the least idea as to which dress is better than which. If you're after the truth, well, send some pics to your gay friend. Don't get upset when we get upset waiting for you as you dress. Because at the subconscious level, we're asking questions like, How come I only need one pair of trousers and shoes? And what's taking her so long? Three, you want the toilet seat down. We need it up. Don't make a fuss out of it. Some people do not even have their own toilet. The same is valid for my sports channel and your cooking experience with Casa Daza. All I'm saying is be more understanding as we are patient in waiting for you at the waiting area to finish your shopping. For we are problem solvers, not guidance counselors, in moments when you're feeling sentimental, phone a friend. But we don't want you to phone a friend in those once in a blue moon moments when we refuse to do something intimate with you. Five, when you ask us to do something, we will do it our own way. If you want it done your way, well, do it yourself. If we have not done it right away, it does not mean we forgot totally about it. You don't have to remind us every six months. Six, speaking of forgetfulness, when we forget to pick this or to buy that for you or to greet you because of an occasion, it doesn't mean that we don't love you. It only means we forgot, period. Liars go to hell, not the forgetful. A black car crossing your path does not mean bad luck. You know what it means? It only means that the cat is going somewhere. Well, our forgetfulness is a lot like that. It means forgetfulness and nothing else. Seven, leave us alone while driving. Just as we leave you all by yourself, while cooking. Also, leave us peace and quiet. While watching MMA, UFC, boxing, or billiard, you are allowed to talk during commercials. Anything you say before or after falls on deaf ears. 8. If you're not okay, but you said you're okay, because we ask, are you okay? Don't expect us to find out what's the real deal. Well, we're not rock, scissors, or paper. We have feelings too. But since, as you said, you're okay, it gives us some inner peace to think even for a while that you're okay. It's a peace that we know will never last for long. We just prefer to take the word nothing literally. Every time you respond to our question, is there something wrong? It gives us the permission to enjoy. Go on and move on with our lives. Nine, many times we think that you're not really interested with what we're saying. Or better yet, you just don't have enough time for our thoughts. It's maybe because you are overwhelmed by what you're doing. Although you always say, I'm listening while your face is buried on your phone. 
just in case you accidentally ask what's on our mind, well, they are basically about sports and TikTok girls. Then, it's a puzzle to us that with all the pair of shoes and numerous clothing you have, you still have nothing to wear, and so you keep on buying more of this stuff. The worst part is you force us to wear something else when we are comfortable with a pair of trousers and rubber shoes for all types of occasions. Speaking of buying, what you consider a saving when you buy an item on sale on a 50 discount or a buy one take one promo is not saving for us. That's still spending, especially if the money comes from our wallet. Leben, every time you ask, does this dress make me look fat? You are putting us in a dilemma. If we say no, we are lying. If we say yes, it marks the beginning of World War III. It's not the dress. It's not the holidays either. Maybe try eating more salad and less crispy cream. You had a good appetite all year long while we are always in shape. Shapes like round, circle, or oblong wouldn't bother us. 12. Every time you tell us we need to talk, we get nervous because we feel that we are in trouble. When you give us the permission by saying, sure, go ahead, or do what you want, there is an inner voice that tells us that you're upset and you don't want us really to go, but we still proceed as planned just the same. We'll deal with your lecture when we come back. A never-ending lecture. 13. If you give us a set of car tools for our birthday, it's something we use and treasure. Wow! For a lifetime! How come you don't appreciate the latest aircon we delivered for you on our anniversary? It's a power-saving inverter. 14. When we say let's have dinner, a movie, a dance, or get some coffee, and have some fun, we mean something more than just having those kind of fun. I miss you, I love you, I adore you, or you look beautiful tonight said from a particular context also have the same connotations. 15. We know that it takes so much compliment, cuddling, caring, spending, listening, sacrificing for you before we create a lasting impression. But if you want to impress us, all it takes is to show up half naked and bring some beer. If beer is not available, Showing us too much skin will do the job. Blessed is the man who is understood by his woman. He will enjoy the company of that woman, even if it will take him more than a lifetime to understand that same woman. Ooh.